everybody, how are you? Uh, my name is Iris Smith and I'm the owner of a small little business called The Flower Patch. Uh, before we start, you can see a mess everywhere, I'll be trying to prepare. Before we start, um, I just want to uh, thank all the wonderful, super, really nice messages that I've had from people. Uh, like Sandra said that um, she loves the way that I explain the placement of where things should go and obviously why and uh, you know that's very touching Sandra because uh, that's what I'm basically out to do is to show you how to do it especially people who aren't trained in it in doing this creativeness uh, with florals and uh, I just like to uh, show you what you can achieve because you're all capable and I also had a beautiful message off of a gentleman called David in southern Ohio in America um, last night saying that I remind him of his granny oh that's so sweet David oh my goodness um, you know with my um, personality uh, my sense of humor I didn't realize I'd got one <laughs> And the work of my laughter, it really makes him uh, feel happy and gives him happy memories. And uh, he loves what I do, especially for people who aren't, like he says, trained in this sort of uh, business. Um, and again, like I, was, I said to him, I like to show people. I love it. It's it's an honour to show people like yourself, David, and many other people uh, uh, worldwide. Uh, what you can do um, from my knowledge and my years of experience and um, with floral, artificial, uh, especially when you're not trained. And like I say, David, there's only one way up. As soon as you start on that ladder, my darling, then you can't go back down. There's no way down. So, I, um, I'm very happy with your, uh, and very touched by your message. And he also has asked me, because in America they celebrate the festive Mardi Gras. Um, about a month ago I, I was speaking to my husband that I'm going to do uh, something to do with Mardi Gras. Now Mardi Gras in America is like what we celebrate Shrove Tuesday, which is Pancake Day. But we don't go all out like the Americans do. They always go out all fantastically brilliant. And, here, well, it's just make a few pancakes, sit at home and that's it. <laughs> so we don't get all these festive things and all these festivals. So uh, how boring are we? And uh, I did say to him, I will be doing one in the beginning of January. Um, I'd plan to do one then um, after Christmas. But uh, I also did say to David that I will make perhaps a flower arrangement that you could sit on your table in your home um, with the colours of Mardi Gras which are gold, purple and green. So as you can see on my table I haven't uh, sat here and thought about what colours, um, what flowers and that I'm going to use. I've just grabbed several in those colours and I'm going to play it by ear today. We're going to do it, I've not planned it. We're going to do it and see what happens. And I'm just going to try and make a tall arrangement in a vase uh, that you could put on your table. Now, unfortunately, David, I've only found three of the colors in my little feathers. I'm missing the, ye the yellow or the gold. So, actually, Actually, David, I was... Oh, I've just banged my knee. <laughs> I've, got, oh, I've got some gold feathers in the gold like that. So let me just... I think I have anyway. I hope so. Now I've said that. Um, oh, yeah. So I could use these. I know they're not the same texture, David. So sorry, my darling. Uh, but they're feathers as well but plastic i wanted these ones the real feathers um, but i've not got the gold in them so and um, what we're going to use today oh and before we carry on i've packed away all my christmas things my candy cane and everything i've got two big boxes on the floor they're wrapped up with the 
rope <laughs> ready to go be packed in away. Till next time. So I've got some of this gold fern. Um, there's two different sizes. There's a thin one and there's a thicker one. So I've got those out for some fern. For the fern as well, I've also got this out. Um, because I know with Mardi Gras you go really sparkly and really vibrant and I love it. So uh, I've got some of this out as well. Now I've got some fat sear out to place at the bottom of the vase. I've only got three pieces to place at the bottom for the base of the arrangement. Sorry I'm going through this quick because today I have got really a busy day. But there's no chance that I'm not going to uh, do a video for you guys. So I don't, I'm not going to rush in explaining anything. I'm just going to rush through what we've got here. Right, it did say you like crocodile fern. Now I'm hoping it meant this sort of crocodile fern because I do have these. If David, you meant the rubbery textured fern, then I've got that out just to be on the safe side for you as well. So we've got that also. And I've got out some of our uh, ficus with the lime in it, what can act like a sort of a yellow or yellowy gold colour to incorporate in the arrangement as well. Now purple, I have got, there's some black mixed in there, but don't worry, we're not using the black. I have got these beautiful, vibrant ruscus in purple with black stems and I am going to put some of those in. And then also in purple, now I couldn't make my mind up, uh, I really couldn't. Um, I've got these purple hydrangeas with a limey green on as well to match with the ficus. So I can't make my mind up to put those in. Um, oh, let me bend down. <coughs> Um, I've got gold ones, smaller ones that I'd like to incorporate into it, but with the smaller petals in gold. And I've also got green. So I've got all the colours. <laughs> so I think I'm going to use those. Um, let me just reach over. Also, with it being nearer to the springtime, the Mardi Gras. How many? I've got five tulips in yellow, yellowy gold they are, and also I want to incorporate some roses, look at the size of those, they are huge, they are triple headed roses, as you can see the many layers, they are beautiful, so, and I've also got some cherry blossom in gold, yellow, as well to incorporate for the height and when I have got I have had loads of these and I just kept buying them and buying them look at the green on these orchids oh my good gracious me they are such a beautiful green so I thought I might incorporate some orchids I got these on sale guys so in the UK you'll know you'll know the uh, the currency 50 pence for one stem. Oh, so when I saw them, I bought 10 pounds worth. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. But that's what we're going to use today. So again, it's all mixed up there. So we're going to play this by ear. So let's put those there. And I'm going to use a tall white vase. Now, I had one of these and I sold it uh, when I did an arrangement. So I went hunting for another one and found it. So I bought a couple of these. So I've already placed in the oasis with an inch of it sticking out at the top. And I placed my, oh, I'm addicted to it, my wreath wrap around the top to cover the oasis. So it will be covered anyway, but I'm a perfectionist and I like things done correctly and I like things to be completed properly. I don't like to just miss something out so I can't see it. So, are we ready for this? 
again I've not planned this I do have I think some purple oh I don't know I can't keep looking let me get my things my tools get them ready this is the only part that I've not got ready um, let me get some tape just in case and I may have to stand up for this guys because it's not going to be a sit down one unfortunately I've got to use my legs right let's start with our fats here we've got these plants on our garden and they just don't stop growing we've got about four four or five but they're lovely right i'm placing three in at the triangular position so i'm keeping that love heart there so my glue hasn't even fully melted yet so we're going to go oh well, hang on let me just check that it's there one here like that so yes i've got a very busy day um, i have to go out as well um, i have informed the person if i haven't finished the video then we'll i'll just have to rearrange one there and now we're going to place one there let me just bend that slightly so it's just touching the other leaf at least it's not raining today it's cold but it's not raining So all these leaves are, the tips of the leaves are touching each other. Just whether it be just slightly, but they are still all touching. And that's how I wanted it to be. So that is acting like our base of the arrangement. But first of all, I want to get in the center. Now I can't make my mind up whether to just place a few of those in the centre for the height or just one Ooh, again we are playing this by ear guys I don't think I want to place these in the center. Very long stems. No, I think it's got to be something in yellow. So, let's cut this. Oh my goodness! Let's see if there's any more of those. These, you, they may look like the spearing, but all these little bits are all buds. So it's not that they've got no flowers on, but they came like that. They're just buds. So let's just get that one in the center like that so you can see how tall this is going to be so let me come and see that to make sure it's in shot oh my goodness let me move the camera back a little bit and just lift it up there we go So that's what I don't want the, any more of those at the moment. Let's put those on the end. 
right, if I could let it out by the sin as well. So I'm going to bring some ficus as well down the bottom. So now I know where my height is and how big my arrangement's going to be. I've ordered some more ficus, guys. I was telling you yesterday I need to order some. I have. So. And then place another one. In this gap. In between. I'm going in between all of our fat seals. Like that. So that's how it looks. Isn't that pretty? So again, I'm going to place ficus in and around. one in the center above the ficus at uh, the fat sear you may hear my heater blowing again it is chilly no rain but chilly I'm using this one as well. And with this one, I'm going slightly up higher, at a higher position. And I'm going where I've just placed these in front of the fat. Um, above the uh, fat sear now I'm going in the center of them but slightly higher I'm just slightly turning the top of them over just to give that sort of a, a uh, feel like it's leaning and coming over. And look at that! Nice and bushy. So, oops a daisy. Oh my goodness. Let me try and get these in as well while we're. Because these, with them being tall, these are the crocodile fern. Um, they're quite tall. I don't want them at the bottom. Right now, let's let's put some of these in. I'm going to put picks on these so I can use them individually, so I can spread them more.
these, David, if you're wondering what these are called, these are Himalayan fern. That's what these are. So I'm going. Like that with these just to add a little bit of a different texture I've ordered some more picks again as well <laughs> I'm terrible I really am I've ordered um, another 500. I don't like the thought of me, even though I've got plenty there, I don't like the thought of seeing it going down. As soon as I notice it starts to go down, oh, I have to get some more in. I really am. I mean, and I've got lots there, but to me, that's not enough. So I've had to order another another 500 to make it over a thousand again I don't know why it's just something I do I'm placing that one there as well I'm doing the triangular position with these ferns I've got a pick there because what I want to do, oh my goodness, with the gold, I want to bring the gold down at the bottom, some of the, where's this? These hydrangeas are really big, um, but I also want to bring these around this height, with them being big, and then maybe the, the gold underneath, just to set it up. Again, I may not use everything here, I've just grabbed. And with me having green as well, I may bring the green slightly higher up. Who knows? And again, because we've got the fern, again, I want to maybe incorporate some of that around the bottom, or maybe bring some around the top. You can place it anywhere, and it'll still look beautiful when you try it, guys. Really, it will. As long as you just remember to give your things space, you can't go wrong. I'm going to bring one higher up there. I'm pulling them off because this, you get them, I can show you, on a bunch like that. And on one stem you get two or sometimes three. Um, but I'm pulling them off so I can get more out of them and use them sparingly so I think that's quite nice to do well I have used them as for you know with the stem as it comes but I do like to uh, pull them off so you know you get more out of them And then one more, oh I found one here, place that in the middle, there's a triangular position. As well. So it's looking quite bushy, so to speak. <laughs> nice and bushy. So I'm not going to use any more of those. Because I, I just want, it's, there's a lot here, so I want to use things. Oh, I dropped one. I've got butter fingers today. So we'll place those there. Oh, sticky tape. Oh, that came off well. Usually I'm moaning about them. Right, any on there? No. So I want to get these in again because I've put some foliage in 
like I explained yesterday, um, I tend to work around the bottom first and then inwards with my foliage. And then I'll put some floral in um, and then I, if I need any more foliage, oh gosh, these are thick stems, I can work around and pop it in. I don't want these stems as long, so I'm cutting them off. I'll save the leaf though, because I can use that, and I'll save the stem. So I'm putting in three of these, again, in the triangular position. This is just something that you could sit on your table, you know, your or on a you know cabinet somewhere where it look really pretty. Or on a shelf. So there's your purple. I, you know something, guys? I love orange and purple, uh, yellow and purples together. They look spectacular. So that's for that. Uh, now I've got the gold. I want to place the, the little gold ones. Let me take. I took them out and put band on them because they kept falling on the floor. I want to bring these and sit these on the fats here around the side just to give that lovely gold at the bottom. So we're going to place these coming out like that. And I'll sit that one again. Bit of movement out there. That may have gone in, come out a bit too far. Let's just push it there. And then do the other one. Oops, a daisy. So then now you've got your three beautiful hydrangeas. Now I'm considering just let me think about that. It may be nice to have the three colours together. Yeah, I'm gonna do that guys. I'm going to place the three hydrangeas together. So I'm going to place the green one there as well. I can just push it a little bit more and just place that one. So you've got like a triangle with your um, hydrangeas. I nearly forgot what they were called. I'll do it again with this one. So we've got that. Right, this, these have rubber stems and I'm just going to clip about an inch and a half of the rubber off. One moment, somebody say, yeah, it might be mid in the Oh, one moment, guys. Oh, it wasn't for me, it was for my son. He's ordered a creamy prezi for someone. It were heavy. I wonder if it's for me. <laughs> Santa's coming. <laughs> so, yes, let's carry on. Um, I've taken off, let me just take that bit off about an inch off the rubber to leave a bit 
of a wire, the wire showing inside because as soon as you dip that in your hot glue then and then uh, the rubber starts to melt so then when you push it in if I get the other bit your rubber starts to bend upwards like that and it doesn't go in the oasis so I always uh, remove it or at least an inch of it as well How close was that one to that one? It's about right. So we've got our green hydrangeas in as well. So I may use those again. We'll see. So we've got a beautiful. Oh, look at those. Aren't they pretty? So let's have a look at this. This is crocodile fern, so I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna put this under the fats here as well, but coming quite out. Because again, this is going to be Mardi Gras. It's it's a big festival. Um, they go really big with the things and, and pretty and you know with masks and things like that with feathers. So I'm going to bring the crocodile fern I think out, so it's a bit bigger. Oh gosh. So, oh dear, it's bothering me. I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna bend that slightly as well. So that looks like it's slightly leaning out. I've done big arrangements, slightly bigger than this actually, for, ch uh, for concerts where it's five foot in height. Um, and I like to do it on a stand um, on the floor, because it's that big. And it was bigger than this. It probably came out about here and then went up. So it's very good to try and do things like this. Very challenging. Oh. So one more. Okay, to give it that nice, beautiful width. So there, look at that. Doesn't that look pretty? I love big arrangements. I love anything, me. Anything. Right, we've got our ferns, so I don't need those crocodile ferns at the moment. Now I need something gold around here. So let's get three. Those smaller, they could go maybe at the bottom. I want a taller one. If I can get it out. So we need to place something gold in between the uh, purple hydrangeas. So you'd need something. I'm just going to place them in between each of them. And that will also, because you need to have gold, so hence the reason I've just said we may put these smaller ones around the bottom, so you've got a bit of gold leaf at the bottom also. So let's get these in. Again, what I'm doing is I'm bending them over so 
it all looks like it's coming over like that as you can see like that it's not it's not upright where's the other I don't know the others oh my goodness what have I done with the others <laughs> other in here <laughs> Oh, sorry for the embarrassment. <laughs> They're not like that. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. They're leaning over. <laughs> I can't believe I've just done that. I've done that on a video before. I think I'm going crazy. <laughs> so, and then this one. Now I know where they are. one in. I used to do a lot of uh, arrangements in vases. Once you've done some, I always say guys, once you've done some arrangements in vases, uh, you've, you've relatively, uh, you know, got the idea of how to, how to do them because um, they're very similar on all the others unless you want to do you know circular ones things like that i've only got two of those i'm going to cut one yeah unless you want to do circular ones then um, it's different uh, but again once you've learned how to do the circular ones it's this, it's very similar to doing you know others as well virtually the same procedure so you can't go wrong guys and don't say you can and even if you think you've misplaced something take it out remove the glue off of the stem um, and then just replace it and where you want to place it. When I first started my course, this is what we did, but not as big as this. We did simple arrangements, you know, to get the placings of things. Um, and that's what we started to learn on. Just the, well, they called it the basic. So, um, I've just dropped a stem. Oh, that's rubber. So, I'm going to place some of these as well. Oh, oh it's on my desk. Just smaller ones as well. Under, I'm placing them under the fatsia, not fatsia, sorry, the ficus. So where the ficus is here, I'm going to place them under there. Just smaller ones and that acts like your depth as well. You know, like you'd be doing your filler. So you've got a bit of gold down there also. I'm just bending those over as well so they can be seen slightly. Look at that guys. Doesn't that look pretty? Really pretty. Just seen a glue string. Just turn it around. And again from underneath you see the little gold and all your other greenery, your crocodile fern, your fatsia, your ficus. Let me just turn that stem up. Right, we have those, they could go around the centre as well. Let me, let me get some of this in. I don't think I've got ornaments. No. 
Right, this is one stem. I may place that. We don't want the black. Let's, oh, there's one down here. I'm going to cut these, some of these up individually. And what I'm going to do with these, I'm going to place those in as well with the purples. Beautiful purple. Let's see, I want to see how long they'll stretch. Because I want some long pieces. That's better. So how long is this? I'm going to measure that with that and cut it where that is. Again, I'm saving that plastic stem. So let's find another big piece. same size so I could put these so I could even put those there one two three I'll save three oh well, the leaves are dropping off oh my goodness I'll have to sort those out right guys what did I do <laughs> with my uh, rubber band What I don't know. Three tall, three medium. Oh, I'm not going to hunt. Oh, it's on. Oh, you have done it again. It's on. <laughs> it's it's on here. <laughs> oh my gosh! Silly me. <laughs> <laughs> that's what is it a couple of mistakes I've made already or, or a bit of a what I call um, oh what's the word I forgot now a bit of a uh, moment <laughs> um, memory loss moment it must be my age <laughs> nothing more so let's take that prong off at the bottom falling off. I reckon I'm going to complain about these. And dip it in the glue. And glue it back on. I'll do that one as well. Oh, there's another one missing, another two. Oh my goodness, it's probably not having this. I will, I am one of those guys who will uh, complain. <laughs> I mean, I don't do it all the time. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not one of those who constantly complain. It's just if things keep, you know, like this thing, you touch them and the leaves fall off. Now that's not a good sign to me. So, what I want to do with these, because this tall in the centre, I want to add the purple as well. If I can get it in. It's quite a thick stem. Oh gosh, that's not in. Let me just remove it. Take the glue off again. I'm going to cut that really thick piece off at the end. Just 
that sticking out. And again, I'm going where turn properly where the around where the gold fern is. One missing there. Oh, I can't get it on. Oh, I can feel glue on my face. Sharp angle. So now you've got your purple. Oh, look. Don't worry about thinking there's a lot of purple because we've got our roses to go in yet. And also our orchids. I don't know about the tulips, but I think the need I could put those around the bottom. I'm sorry guys, I've got the um, I'm gonna bring those out as well. Bits of the glue has followed me on my face. Stems are really thick. No, that's not going in. Take the blue off. Again, I'm going to put a, a sharper angle on it. They're quite thick, these stems. Um. My goodness. won't defeat me guys and one of these where it's not going to defeat me I can be quite stubborn in that way get ready there we go told you it wasn't going to defeat me right and I'll bring those down as well so then the reason I'm bringing the purple at the bottom as well is so then we've got the gold green and purple as well as at the bottom not just at the top so I don't want to you know just do it all at the top I always say try to bring the colour of what you're arranging at the bottom as well as the top and that will balance it out. Um, it's basically if I use clothing um, in summer, it wouldn't look uh, balanced if you wore a pair of um, 
shorts or I think in America you call them pants, short ones in the summer um, and a thick woolly jumper. Now that's not balanced. Balanced is wearing like, uh, you know, shorts and a t-shirt or something like that. That's balanced. Um, it's same with the flowers. You wouldn't just put everything at the top and leave this down here, you know, uh, diff you know, plain. You need to bring what's up here, down here in colour as well. So I'm going to do this and again I'm doing it in threes. So this comes where the focus is. Let's have a look for some space. just bending them over slightly again to give that effect So if I turn the leaf the right way round. <laughs> and that one, I thought, oh my goodness gracious me. Where's that one come from? Right at the bottom somewhere but it can't be seen. Can't get to it. So there you have your purple around the bottom now as well. Right, I've got these, I want some nice, oh my goodness, here we go, <laughs> can't be bothered to take the band off. <laughs> Three of these where I want to bring here alongside that is a different uh, shape so this will add a different texture by bringing this higher or you could bring it higher up like that so let's give that a go and bring it up so it's in a higher position just pop it alongside in the center now I'm all I'm doing is going to just bend the tip of it nothing more just the tip just to make it look like it's got a little bit of movement on the end so I'm going in between the purple rosters Well, to bring some beautiful gold near right up to the top. So, as you can see, it's now like that. Doesn't that look wonderful? Purples and golds and purples and yellows are beautiful. So it looks really quite busy as you can see we've got gaps here this is where our big florals our roses are going to be sitting so if I just grab one place it through if I can see a gap to place it they will be sitting like that so they will cover that space 
So then each of these flowers have all got their own spacing in between each other. They're not all compact like that. You could do it compact. And then I may bring the tulips down here, bring the odd one up there and add movement with this also. So let's see where I'd like these to be. Take the tab off. We need some green up here. We really do. So I think we're going to have to place the orchids up here as well, in between the purple also. The yellow is the highest point. So then we'll place one there, one there, like that. So let's get these in. These are quite thick stems as well. Let me see how high I'd like. I'm measuring it alongside the bars. So I'm measuring where I'd like and looking how far it would go inside my bars or my container. So it will go in quite, let me bring it a bit closer because I want them around there. So it's nearly to the end. So I only want it around here. I don't want it to go all the way down. So I'll put my thumb and finger there, bring it out so I know now where I'm putting. And I'll get the others and I'll measure the same as those. And I'm going right to the top. There. So they're all cut now at the same length that I require to be placed into my bars beautiful green look at those close up isn't that a stunning green I think they are really really pretty beautiful and they will go beautiful against the uh, purple so let's get the first one in let me do it this side first if I could find a space hold my bars. Now I may have to force this down because it's quite, I've got slippy hands. It's quite a thick stem. One moment, let me just see. So I don't want it looking like that. Take the glue off again. And if you do a 45 degree angle and you still think that your stem isn't going in, give it a sharper angle. Like I may have to do this because it's just not going past. No, I'm going to have to put a sharper angle in it, guys. That's not good. So. I will go really at a point let's have a look no, there's a little bit more there. Right. third time lucky <laughs> there you go going in. How high do I want it? Perhaps not as high as that. Oh my god. Sorry. <laughs> Just getting a grip on my fingers. Oh my goodness. I need something to help me push it down. Well, third time lucky ain't working for me. Let me see.
There we go. There we go. I told you I won't let it defeat me. I've got a prom on there. So I'm going to do these at a quite a sharper point as well. I think it may be a 22 degree angle that I'm doing them at. I think that's the shot, more of a higher point. Look at that, guys. Isn't she beautiful? Again, I'm going in between, around near the center. just want to try and press it down it all looks like it's on on the wonk <laughs> I want it upright <laughs> that's sitting right it's better so we'll be placing some roses there as well, I guess. Now the other one. In between here. Oh, that one went in easy. Oh, these purple leaves. Oh, I am going to complain, guys. I don't like things that are falling apart, you know, it's my hard earned money that I'm spending on their company. Where's it come from? Where's it come from? Probably there. Da 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 da. So that is it again from the top with your orchids in. So now you can see greens and mainly purples. So we need to be incorporating our yellows. So I'm going to be placing and showing you where I want to incorporate some yellows. These have got like thorns on. <laughs> I love it when they've got the things like the thorns on. Get that there. I'm just going to sit these in. I'm not going to actually get, oh, look at those. I think I've brought two different ones out. So these, yeah, I have. Let's cut this down as well. So that is where we're going to be placing our yellows. You may be wondering why I've not gone down in a triangular position. Now this is another design. Um, you have your focal point with tall uh, plant uh, foliage and floral and you know things like these up at the top and then it's like that's your focal point and then you have like a round shaped ball around the bottom. So this is a different, you know, I'm not doing the, the normal triangular position where I would work and fill in and come down step by step. This, like I say, is a different design. Uh, I wanted to also uh, this, show you that it's not always the triangular shape you've got to do. You can do where there's things central like that and then you've got like a round ball at the bottom. As long as you fill in the gaps underneath these tall bits, then you've got a totally different design. And that's what we are trying to accomplish today. 
Let me just get rid. Because again, I just don't want to show you all the time it's just one one style. I, I do like to uh, show you different styles of uh, what you can achieve by placing floral in, and it's not just um, everything's going down in a triangle. You've got your upright floral right in the center. There your focal points, and then you've got your this acts as your base, and that's all how you how to look at it. If you're not you haven't gone wrong, you've not done anything wrong. So I wanted to incorporate these. Look at the green, the green. Look at the green. How vibrant that is. And then you place the purple next to it. Look at that. Don't they bounce off each other? Beautiful. It's a pity I've not got that gold. So I want to, if I can pull it out. Oh, gosh. I wanted to place them as a three. I may do it like that, actually. Place them as a three and put those in the centre there. So then you've got your feathers. So yeah, I'm going to do that. So I don't need that. I don't need no. I don't think I need no more of those. So yeah, we'll work with it like that. I quite like this design. I think it's very modern. Um, I say that I taught. I got taught it in my course, so I can't really say it's modern. When years ago, but I think it's coming back. Or it's come back, one or the other. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. But I think it's a beautiful uh, design. I think quite, you know, different. I like different. That one's just not standing up right how I'd like it. There. So we're going to place in. I'll, I'm going to save these rose leaves. It's a. Uh, I don't want all those. I may keep one on. Yeah, I'll keep one on. I need to see how far I'd like them. So they're not very big. It's going to be around there. Again, I'm going to do a 22 degree angle. I'm sure it's a 22, the sharper one. Because these are also, again, thicker stems. Oh no, it's this. There we go. So I could save these and use them as filler for something else. If I can get them off. <laughs> Measure the height of that stem with this. I'm going to go down that way. That's two. the same with this. So, I'll place one in and I'll turn it round and show you. Make sure I've got some space. There we have it. Doesn't she look pretty? Do the same on this side.
just one's not sat correctly. That's better. Don't they look pretty? Oh, I love it. I think now there's, I'm looking at it from afar. There's a lot of green here that's sticking out. So, bear with me guys. I think... Where did I go with them? to use I'm just getting some bits that I've because these sort of things I've not put away the, you may think they're Christmassy but you can use them for other things um, you know like uh, wedding anniversaries things like that uh, golden wedding anniversaries you know or if somebody wanted a gold arrangement you know an all year round one gold as well underneath the um, green hydrangea or let's try one of these if I've got a spare one no no not those it's the palm the palm leaves so again you know Things like this. Oh, I found out what they are. Oh gosh, what were they called? Um. Oh my goodness, something palm. It's a palm. Um, what did I think it was? I can't remember what I thought it was now. Fern, I thought it were. No, it's a palm. It's a small palm, I forgot what the name was, oh my goodness. But yeah, it's a palm. So things like this I haven't put away. Um, you know, because these can be used all year round, you know, and things like that can be used all year round. So I haven't put those away. I have left a few glittery balls, you know, where it seeds out, or, or berries, should I say. You know things like that because they can be used as party themes if you're doing a, a you know a wreath for somebody in a pot and wants a gold party theme you've got that and, I, and it's the same with the pinks and the silvers and the blues and the reds i've left certain ones out and i've also you may think these are used for christmas well they are the christmas decorations but I've also left these swirls out, these spirals as well, because they could be used as things, I mean, they could be used in there actually, you know, to add a bit of decoration on, you know, party themes and things like that. So I may use those, those last three in that box. And I've left all those out in all my colours that I've got. So... Yeah, it don't mean to say because it's got glitter on that it's a Christmas thing and it needs to be put away. It really don't, guys. So, if you can think that you can use that all year round, then, you know, like I've just explained, that's great. Right, I'm going to put some tape on these because these are quite short. So I'm going to put some floral tape around it one of them's okay it's just this one these two smaller ones I didn't want to chop into the the fresh ones when I spotted these with the actual top parts on And I knew I could put a pick on. 
that one's okay. Now with the spirals, you see they come with their own string to hang on the Christmas tree. So again, let's see how high I want these. They could even come out there. In between the yellow, add a bit of sparkle there. So I'm just going through the hole at the bottom, just bend, doing a U bend. Where's my other clippers? And I'm using these to just wrap it around just slightly. So it holds it into place. And I'm going to get some glue. And then I'm gluing over it. So it holds it then. And I let that dry. Do the same with these. Again, I'm only doing three. I can't twist this very well because it's very thick stem, very hard to twist. So that's why I'm putting glue on it as well. Just putting a U-bend over the top and then gluing this, this stem on the inside. And again, line, allowing it to dry. So again, with Mardi Gras, they go really, you know, they have lots of fawn, lots of glitter, feathers, things like that. It's a wonderful thing to celebrate and feast, you know, eating and things like that. We just have the pancakes. <laughs> we sit in the house and everybody goes, oh, it's pancake day. I mean, I don't like them. I hate them because I don't like the texture of them and I don't like the taste of them. People say, well, they're only like Yorkshire puddings or things like that. Well, I don't like Yorkshire puddings. <laughs> so, but um, yeah, the Americans, they really have a, a great, great time celebrating it on ours. A bit of honey or sugar or, or jam or whatever on top. And that's all we do. Not very, not very good, is it? Right, and I want it a long stem. I'm going to just go and get a... Oh, mind you, I've got these here. How good are they? Oh, well, they're not long enough. I want a long stem to attach these on to go in the centre. One of my stems that I've cut off as I've been working. So I'm going to... So I'm going to put the stem right up to the bottom where the feather ends and then I'm going to do the same with that but I'm going to cross it over. So you've got one one side and one the other and then I'm bringing the gold in the centre. So it's basically like if you was doing a bouquet and uh, if you're going from, let me think, <laughs> left you go front over to this that way in a diagonal position and then the the one on the right goes behind going to no you start from the left you take it over to the right in a diagonal position sorry guys and then the one if you go want it to go that way you start from the right and take it to the left in a diagonal position and then the center ones you just place upright or vertical so I'm going to place them like that um, where did I see? you know I am going crazy crazy 
And now I'm going to just wrap some tape around. Where's that? The I'll start to wrap that around the bottom of the neck of the feathers. Place I could place that one like that actually. Bring that like that. Bring that like that. I'm going to go slightly down. And because it's quite thick there, I'm going to go back up and I'm going to go over it again with my tape for a little bit of extra support and strength. So that, again, is going to go in the centre as well. So let's see how far. That's quite nice at that height, guys. But I'm going to just cut off at a very sharp angle again oh my god there we go and uh, as well peacock feathers that's the thing as well I forgot about those I've got peacock feathers um, they use those a lot as well. Yeah, I forgot about those guys. Because I've got peacock ribbon as well. They use that a lot as well. So, let me see where they are. Let's use these, some, some of these here. I always, to get them, if they look a bit like ragged at the ends like that one, just turn them upside down and stroke them. Like you're stroking your cat, like Marley. And then they will all go, come back like that. So let's, this one looks like it's been in the wars, you know, and just keep stroking it until you're happy. I mean, I want to take the few at the bottom off because it's going inside the oasis or the foam. So I'll take the last few off, just stroke it. Again, this one was quite rugged. So again, there you go. I'll take that one off as well. So they can go in. Look at that one, look how rugged it is because it's been in my bucket. But I naughty girl. Again, I don't want it that long. <laughs> so where, where can I put these? Yeah, so about that length. And these are very delicate as well. Very, very, very delicate. Um, the stems are so breakable. Just like, oh my goodness. Um, oh, what was it I was using the other week? Just like the feathers and things like that, or all those little uh, bunny tails. They are so delicate. So again, let's get some picks on the bottom to support them. Let's take these few, I'm taking the few bits off at the bottom because it's going inside the uh, foam so I don't need the bottom bits. I don't want those all getting all lifting up and gluing to the bottom of the foam and sticking and making a mess. So 
I'm going to do the same with this. Put a pick on it. Let's move this. I feel like I'm going down to bottom. <laughs> I'm going to put a pick on it right under the last piece of the uh, feather or strand of feather and I'm going to come down and again I'm going to give it extra support with it being delicate and I'm going all the way back up and the same with these so yes peacock feathers are another thing that they use in Mardi Gras because they've got like a purple and green colour. They're beautiful. Why can't we celebrate nice things like that? Why are those Brits so boring? Well, not, we're not all boring. But, you know, concerning like festive things. It's like we, you, Americans have Thanksgiving and oh my goodness, they really go out on... on Lots of food and things like that. Yeah. I reckon I'm coming to live in America. <laughs> right, I'm going to place these. I want it so the feather is showing, the colour of it. I can find it. A space. Oops, there's a space. Just bend it in the wire. So they're above. I don't want them at the bottom. I want you to be able to see these, the beautiful things. I think out of all the feathers, the peacock feathers are my favourite. Oh, I've just caught that. They are so pretty. Try to find and sit. Oh, they're beautiful. The center of the feather at the top is beautiful. I'm just lifting them up again because I want things like this centralized, the taller things. So there's your peacock feathers in it as well. So let's get back to placing in some more gold because it's a bit, like I say, a bit green around here. And we may need to bring some down here. I know we've got the little ones, but I think we want something to stick out a bit slightly as well. We've got the gold in the centre. Again, we're trying to balance it. So where I'm going to place this, as you can see, it's a gap here. So I'm going to place that. it up slightly, let me just see that it's gone in. And just fill that gap. So I do that the same with these. Mm -hmm. 
gold hard room jewels. So that's, I know it's where the fern is. Oh my goodness, I've got the wrong one. So it's here. So I've misplaced that one, guys. So I'll take that one back out. Take the glue off. So I've placed it where the fern is. So it's around here. Is that right? Yeah. Is it right? Yeah. It's right. Hang on. Something's not right. Between the crocodile and the fibers. So then it was there, and then the crocodile, and the fibers are there. So they are placed. Crocodile and the fibers. Let me just sit it there a minute. Crocodile and the fibers, and then crocodile and the fibers. So then it's balanced. Looks a bit bare there. That's my point. It doesn't look balanced here. Let me think, let me think. those there, I think. What do I bring those to? We've got to have yellow down here as well. So, it's under the yellow. I haven't placed that one in yet. So let's see where I've placed it. Under the yellow rose. Right, that's going to give me a better judgment. So, under the yellow rose. Sorry guys if I'm lifting it up. Need to see under the yellow rose. I say I talk to myself when I'm when I'm not even on camera and I say things like that. If I misjudge something, I'll sit there and I'll, I'll go through it and I'll go. Because I look for where I placed the first one. And I was looking on the greenery, but then I decided to go one step up and look where I placed the first one and it was under the yellow rose. So now, <laughs> sometimes when I'm off camera and I go under the yellow rose, under the yellow rose, under the yellow, so I just don't, <laughs> I'm not going nutty. <laughs> it's just so I don't forget. <laughs> so when I'm chatting away to herself, uh, it's just something I do. So, I don't want those two roses. We've got, we want to bring, we've got the big yellow here with the roses. And we've got, I know it's on a slim line there. Um, I've got five, I could place one in the center, but I think that looks as nice as it is. Um, and I think if I just pop that through there, we need to bring, tulip around the gold hydrangea area. So one there. Again I'm just placing them before I start and they're going to be coming out a little bit as well so you can see the yellow at the bottom also. Let me just turn and then because I'm, I'm adding movement to it. Because we don't just want it to be compact. So, and then that, as you, you know, if you get what I mean, will come out as well. So you've got the yellow also at the bottom. I'm just debating where to put these. 
because they are dry. I don't know whether to bring, I don't want too much gold around the bottom. I don't know whether to bring them out where the yellow roses are as well. Just to add a bit of decoration. Just up above. I don't want them up there with those. Yeah, I think I will. So let's get these in before I go to the tulips. So I'm going in between the hydrangea and the yellow rose. That yellow rose. <laughs> um, so that's why, again, I'm not coming out too much with it, as you can see. It's just a little bit of decoration, a little bit, you know, gold, sparkly. I don't want it to come out too far because this is our base. So they're in. I'm not going to use no more feathers because uh, this small these are, these gold ones. So we'll place those out of the way as well. So. Yeah. So we're going to keep to these. Now these have got rubber on as well. So if you haven't got the pliers like mine, what cut, you know, well, the wire ones, just take off the rubber by going like that and then, well, they should do, pull, yeah, and then it's left with the wire. Then just clip around your rubber without touching the wire in the centre. You'll feel that it in the centre, the wire. Just clip around without cutting the wire. And then once you've done that, then pull and it'll snap off. That's all you need to do. So let's get one in first. Right, where did I say? Near the gold hide ranger. So there's that one. So where's the one that fell out? Here. Right. Again, I'm just having that. You see? Just hanging down slightly. Again, I've got another one like this. There we go. It's like on the tulips as well. It does this on the tulips. Um, not the tulips, the uh, peonies. Uh, you have to do this. Um, some roses are like this as well. Um, but yeah, ranunculus sometimes. It depends on what sort of ranunculus you buy or away from. But yeah, some of the flowers you have to do this with it. Feel if I can feel the stem going all the way up, yeah. So I know how much to cut off. So This one's already been done and it's left. If you don't, if you're a bit um, unsure whether this wire will stay in, you can always put a bit of glue on the end with your glue gun, or you know, or you can just leave it because I shall be pushing it right to virtually 
the top of the rubber so you know sometimes I do it sometimes I don't so there's your tulips on the bottom So let me just stand back and see if anything else is needed. No, I can't. Can't no. No. No, guys. If I if if I uh, thought something else would be, you know would be needed then uh, I would uh, be standing there and, as you know, oh, that's something scapey there, something scapey there, but no, not at all. So then, guys, I think we've finished. Let me just get the glue off my hand. And again, here we go. Miss Tidy <laughs> has to get rid of all the glitter. My cat's in the house. I've made sure he's in the house today because he's not going to be bringing glitter again in the house. So. La, 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 la. And sometimes when I'm not on video, I've got my radio going. So I listen to my radio. I don't sit in the quiet. <laughs> I can't sit in the quiet unless my vocal cords are moving. I'm not happy. I think I was born to just chat. <laughs> what a gift. <laughs> Now let me go and see if you can see that in shot. Now I've lifted it. Yeah, virtually all of it. Right then guys, this is what the Mardi Gras colours in greens and uh, purples and golds. Um, I've used yellows as well. Um, and I think gold, uh, purple and yellows are fabulous together, absolutely fabulous. I've done many in that colour. Um, and with the uh, crocodile fern, the gold palm, <coughs> excuse me, the gold uh, fern, this tall gold fern as well. Um, and then your small green hydrangeas, your purple ones, again, and your gold ones, your spirals, your five curse with the lime green, and some of your Himalayan rubbery textured fern um, placed in, your beautiful peacock feathers, your orchids, some feathers in the centre, some cherry blossom, tulips, um, and this could be sat on a centre because you know Mardi Gras is quite big, they go big and things like that. Hence the reason I've done a quite a big arrangement. Um, to sit in the centre of your table as a display uh, inside the home um, instead of something on your door. I mean, I will again, like I say, in the new year, do a wreath. Um, you know, I've got the ribbons and things like that for the Mardi Gras, um, but I will do, do that in the beginning. So, um, I hope, David, if you're watching this, you know, because I did say to you that I will give you, will do you uh, an, a table arrangement to deal with, to do with the Mardi Gras. Uh, I hope that this is uh, okay and I hope you enjoyed watching it and it will give you some ideas, my sweetheart, to have a go yourself uh, on what type of flowers to use. You know, you haven't got to use these, you know, if you've got big, um, oh, let me think. Uh, chrysanthemums or big dahlias you could use those 
um, or big lilies you could use those um, I'm trying to think what else or even sunflowers if you've got yellow sunflowers perhaps use those as well um, and then for your, you know golds you could use any anything really if you've got let's have a look what I've got <laughs> I've got that much you could use the gold roses here um, you could use the uh, like I've done the hydrangeas, the little hydrangeas, um, absolutely anything, and your palms and your ferns. If you've got other other uh, foliage in the in golds and that, you know, put them in. It's all about fun, fun. And guys, it's such a simple arrangement. I know it's nearly taken me two hours, but I, I like to explain. Uh, I know some people think when they've watched videos, and my sisters even said, oh get on with it you know and I've said no no you know I'm trying to teach people in a simplest simple way where to place things how to place things um, and given my knowledge and experience uh, especially for people who are not trained in this um, you know type of uh, creativeness and for beginners you know I don't want to rush it you know and confuse them so hence the reason I do full tutorials so uh, again I hope you all liked this and uh, on all my fans in America I hope it's it's you know you like it too and uh, it's something you'd like to put on your uh, table so again this focal point is in the center of the tour and this is my base so you can, if you're standing up, you can basically see this at eye view. You sat down, you've got all this to look at at bottom. So this is a different style and design to the uh, triangular shape uh, or the asymmetrical. So guys, um, again, I hope you enjoyed that and it gives you another idea on uh, creating something different. Uh, I've got some more work to do, as usual. But I've got to nip out as well so um, I hope you have a wonderful day please share um, and subscribe and uh, to your friends and family and everything and also give us a thumbs up and uh, David if you're watching give us a little comment my sweetheart on what you actually think um, so all the best everybody and I hope you have a wonderful day take care and thank you so so much I really, from the bottom of my heart, appreciate all you subscribers who watch my channel. You are all wonderful people and wonderful creative people and I love you all. Have a great day. Bye bye.